I have questions for God. Why? Whenever somebody talks about their boss, I'm like, yeah, I hate my boss too. He's also me. Generic control in the back, guys. We're here back with another nostalgic video. Today we're doing Demon Knight, or Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight, which, I mean, this is the month of Halloween. I don't know if this is something spooky or not. This video right here suggests that it's very creepy, spooky, gross, scary looking. I have no idea what Tales from the Crypt Keeper is. This is actually suggested on last week's video, which was the Shining mini series. You want to check my reaction to that video? I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, in a place on my channel with all the other nostalgic reactions. Going in chronological order, um, but that was like a most comment was because or most like comment because in a John Charm video there was Crypt Keeper and I did not know what Crypt Keeper is or something like that I don't know I think that was what the comment said I have no idea I do read all your comments leave them down below let me know if the next nostalgic video should be Pierre was talking about signs and a couple of people agreed with him that I should react to signs so let me know if I should react to signs next I read every single comment and respond to a lot of them as well I hope you have a wonderful day hope I can make it a tiny little better I do read all your comments so leave them down below whether you're a patron or subscriber or not speaking of patrons they get the videos there early a lot of time I have a paywall channel three dollars a month get you all my reaction videos a day early I do this all myself I'll also be live streaming on Twitch today playing some Minecraft Monday from 5 7 p.m. Eastern time, making a fully automated creeper farm right now, right next to my iron farm, and then I'll make a fully automated sugar cane farm, and then I'll just stay in one spot and just make all of the automated farms. I'm having to learn how to do it, so it's been an absolute blast. But this is going to be Demon Knight. It's way shorter video than last week, but let's go ahead and jump into Demon Knight by Nostalgia Critic. Also, if there's a charity shout out in this video, whatever this video makes in that first day, I will donate it to that charity in next week's video, or at the beginning of next week's video. 1989. Oh God. HBO releases a new television series from HBO? Robert Zemeckis called Tales from the Crypt. A central of, of the pulp comics. It was seen as an excessive, smutty. Wait, so that thing's like the main character? Taste, obnoxious jokes and trashy writing. Why is he French? By God, we loved every minute of it. Play dead instead In of Playboy. Universal releases a cinematic treatment of the TV show Demon Knight. While not a critical darling, it did bring in almost double its budget. Oh, that's and over time, gained pretty good. Following. Years later, does it still have the same blood dripping grip with a bad pun attached as it did when it first came out? Was the Crypt Keeper the Apparently, one money in the last few episodes of There's Tiny a difference Toons? between horror and gore. But you didn't know that one, did you? Watch the Christmas special. You'll totally notice a difference. I'm Nostalgia Stack. And welcome Nostalgia what? To Nostalgia Ween. Is that like what he did for this Nostalgia Ween or something? Oh god. Reviewed. Oh, I remember that one. I remember that one. What videos do I remember that from? I remember this intro. What is... I don't... The quality of this video seems really good. Like, better than usual. Channel Austin's Nostalgia Ween. God, that looks like straight out of the 90s. Which is apparent... This movie, or show, or whatever, was in 1995. Two years before I was born. So... Game show reviewer? Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. Guy, remember it so you don't have to. Sometimes you just need a dead guy to crack Happy Meal jokes in order to feel good. Do you? Is that a requirement? Do they have to be dead? Originally written as its own standalone movie, the script for Demon Knight caught the eye of Tales from the Crypt producers Ew. who figured to be Ew. a perfect segue into a bigger cinematic story. Where most Tales from the Crypt episodes are what the makers often called come up in stories, Demon Knight was more of a traditional survival story told in arguably an untraditional way. It delighted the hell out of me as a kid, just as much as it does now, and we're gonna Wait, see so what made delighted it as in like it's good? Let's see if this film still matches the gory trashiness of the show. Yeah, I never Why said do I need to fire my editor? That gore what is that supposed to do with that? This is Tales yeah. from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. Whenever somebody talks about their boss, I'm like, yeah, I hate my boss too. He's also me. Uh, you know how some kids had Sesame Street as their childhood TV song? We truly no. disturbed kids had this. I didn't watch Sesame Street. You know who you are and I love you all. Well, I was not Seriously, one of them either. The price either. of admission was more than worth it just to see this opening on the big screen. It was just amazing to see it that large and with such incredible sound. Seriously, you can end this intro with... Tales from the Crypt. Did they end it like that? That's it for me! What did they do wrong? They give you a tour of the entire one place. Time you called a sex hotline? That woman you talked to is an actress now. You should have seen the look on Carl's face when I buried that axe in his chest. It makes me realize the empty connection what? I have with my father. I mean, how hot I am. 
Why is but a tiny blood. hurdle in horror films, uh, though, as the Manchu murder comes back for revenge, but it looks like this is all a film set directed by the oh. Cryptkeeper, voiced again by John Kassir. I kind of love Wait, how the even the actor is alive? acting hokey, he chooses to pick on the guy playing the monster. It makes sense. That would be the most important to him. You call that acting? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do call it acting. You're no Gory Cooper. You ain't even a Robert Dedford. Oh, I don't, I don't know who John that's a... Cat. I was a Klingon in Star Trek Three. It's sure, I haven't seen Star Trek either. this guy out for not being very convincing. This also isn't the most convincing effect. You can even see the reflection of the green screen on his collar. Good luck avoiding that future screenings. Aww. Uh, they dig this guy up. I'm off to see. They literally dug him up. What actors died. That's bad. As usual, the Crypt Keeper introduces the symphony of scares we're about to endure. Fasten your drool cups and hold on to your vomit bags. We're going to the movies. Why does it remind me of like film amusement park? The story like, starts as a car chase ensues between a man named Breaker, played by William Sadler, and a man only known as the Collector, played by. Where was I even trying to duck? Goddamn Billy Zane performance! A goddamn Billy Zane performance! Could God also get out Billy of the Zane. car on the other Move side of the car in the, the same direction. Future henchman number four. Why did it explode? Blows up the car, but as the Black Knight put it, I thought worse. How'd you get out? The guy was chasing airbags. Gotta love him. Did you see him? The film is great at not what? letting us know who the real good guy or bad guy is at first. Especially considering scenes like this don't get creepier with the passage of time. Hey kid, you want a quarter? How about a shiny new quarter? You want one? Why? Oh wow. Possibly Chris Hansen. Breaker befriends every 80s and 90s cult film mascot, Dick Miller, who takes him to a hotel. <laughs> that even from Dust Till Dawn cast members would be like, fuck that shit. The I don't know what that's Breaker's from. Hand, as again, that had to hurt. A mystery is set up here as to what's going on. The hotel owner asks her daughter, oh, Geraldine, hundred. played by Janet Pickett-Smith, to show Breaker his room while a fired mailman, her. played by Charles Flesher, looks on as a prostitute he's in love with, sleeps with a sleazy guy named Roach, played by Thomas Hayden Church. Yeah, the cast list for this movie is short uh -huh. but simple. Oh, so the okay. writing in the first third of this movie is very, well, Tales from the Crypt. Can they just Can I just give him a freebie? Hmm, just what he needs. Someone else screwing him. Are my sheets done yet? I couldn't get all those stains out. Damn guacamole. Get that pussy off the table. <laughs> I guess it's rated R. Oh, But the actors Jesus are so much Christ. fun to watch. They hold your attention uh. until the plot gets rolling. And it certainly does that when the collector enters the hotel. Drop the guns or I'll kill her. I said drop your goddamn guns! We both know she has a prosperous career of marrying Will Smith. He does uh -huh, talk right, yeah. he's trying to find an artifact that the collector says no. is his. What's he got to do with this? I'm, I work for a, a collection agency. Why does he look Remember familiar? Hereditary? That's us. I actually have seen that movie. Hotel when they come across... <sighs> With the car battery? I did say this movie jumpstarted his career. I'll play it. They finally find the artifact, but the collector notices liquid inside and asks someone to pour it out. He's not what he says he is, Willie. Willie! <laughs> just, just pop that lid. So, uh, that sounds yeah, like a trap. this is pretty silly, it does still keep your interest as to what's going on. Yeah. And part of the comedy I'm... comes from you don't know who to trust in this scenario. Look what he's done. Why he's going to put that something phone. awful inside there. W would you mind dumping that out before you place it inside? I don't think that uh, like the Cheshire cat could have a more smug smile than that. <laughs> That's so I'll smug. I'll take that, Willie. Just quoting what was said to Hayden Church a moment ago. The cops find out the collector's car was stolen, and they arrest him as well. well how did they find it was Leading stolen? To... Nope, you can't show wow, it on YouTube unless word. you want to be demonetized. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Um, yep, sounds about right. Remember the headless but you can, ancestor but you can do Mulan? Other yeah, things to movies. Jack's films. Just imagine a Billy Zane-shaped fist. I've also never seen uh, uh, Mulan. Waiting for that ultimate cut of Titanic that ends the same way. And I'll just that's say, why he looks familiar. He's the guy from Titanic. This is Billy Zane's movie. He comes alive like he put on Jim Carrey's The Mask, except there aren't any CG cartoon effects, and seemingly nobody told him that, yet he's still acting like there are. Fucking hold dunk, po dunk, well then there, motherfucker! The hell is everything? <laughs> what? Why is that not a meme? Come on out, everybody! It's time to play! Makes you feel good, do it! Live your life like Billy Zane in Demon Knight. There's too much fun in the world not to be utilized. True. He spills green blood on the ground, which gives birth to demons rising from the sand. Someone called Tanjiro. Some of the blood from the wow, key into the doorway, creating a demon force field. Yeah, how is there not a video game created from this? I don't know. How is there not? Oh my god, that was so cool! Is that a butterfly knife? Yeah, that was cool. Ah! 
I like how he opened the door to kick them. I'm sorry. Dopey's I'm sorry. only been alive for two minutes and already he's been punched by a prostitute. It took me 35 years to get that merit badge. They discover they have to hit Whoa. the ice to kill them, but it shoots out of the beam, eyes? hurting the mailman. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is the mailman there at night? At now, night. I of course wore a bunny suit to get in character for Roger Rabbit, so I insist on sitting in a prostitute's arms for hours for this performance. Wait, is that the director? Key breaker for crying out loud. Breaker closes off the rest of the doorways as he explains what they're up against. What the hell are those things? Demons or something? Yes. Worse. Demons. Oh, that's sweet. That's just fucking sweet. He reacted to demons the same way you'd react to squirrels in an attic. Demons. True. Oh, that's sweet. That's just fucking sweet. Gotta get peanut butter, a trap. Can we electrocute him to death? Because I have the cables for that. Yeah, apparently you do. Breaker yeah. has a flashback to him. <laughs> to yeah. what? This all makes great. Oh, is that the crucifixion of Jesus Christ? Let's see if this has the same subtle restraint passion that the Christ had. Huh? Is this... Was that Somehow a this is more Trip Keeper thing? He gets snapped back to reality as the prostitute oh, is gravity. tempted by the collector who uses illusions and mind games to trick her into letting him turn her into a demon. What? Oh, How? To do is let me in. No. Don't. Now this is a great effect when you realize there was no CG used for it. It was done on set. But when you what? realize the only way that can be done when? is through an air-blowing device, it does kind of mess with the soothing mood a bit. All you have to do is let me in. Yeah, let her lie. A hair dryer. A treehouse of horror vibe. Why stop now? The mailman sure. enters the room unaware that the collector has possessed her and she rips him apart. As oh, well as the oh. hotel owners are. Breaker kills oh. her though as they find a secret passage underground that everyone wants to use except Breaker. Why? I say we give those goddamn demons what they want. I'm not gonna give you the key. You're gonna have to take it. And then I'm gonna have but to what's in the thing? Right? Joke's on you. Spider-Man 3 will do that for me. They decide to give it a shot as they come across the boy from earlier and his demon parents. Oh. Wait, his parents weren't demons. Why are they demons now? Even though they fight the demons off, things get complicated. I guess we're in there before they sealed it. Yeah, like I said, it gets complicated. I mean, there are only five of you. They need seven. It's like tumblers in a lock. Everything has to line up. Seven oh. stars, seven people. It has to be the so seven they need two more people. Seven doors while seven brides for seven brothers place on seven TVs. It's in the seven brides for seven brothers. What? He reveals that the demons are the darkness before God said, "Let there be light," and only a key passed down to a select chosen few carrying the blood of Christ can stop them. The They're descendants of Christ? Is that... Is that... Some of it. Yeah. What? The rest is wild turkey. <laughs> the blood of Christ mixes surprisingly well. I have questions for God. Why? Why? I ay 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 uh, what's going on? Hey, folks, oh, going to be okay. at Grand Rapids Comic Con in Grand I think Rapids, I missed it. Michigan, November 8th to the 10th. We were there last well, year. Well, I mean, we had a fantastic time how far is Grand Rapids return. from you guys there. Illinois? I'm not sure what part of Illinois and the South Grid is necessarily in, but... So Rook steals the key as the collector tries to persuade Geraldine to is be possessed. Is that art of himself? Give me what I want. That's just the way it is. And the sooner you figure that out, the bed. Haven't you realized nobody can resist my eyelashes? I like that when she Shotgun. walks out, you're not sure if she gave into him or not. That's Again, a nice touch. the suspense a little higher. But that doesn't stop the collector appealing to his willy by appealing to his willy. Shut this one down, Uncle Willy. We can't stop here. This is demon country. Hey. Is that something they filmed? That had to be Have something they filmed. Prettiest man I ever saw. <laughs> also, was he in The him. Mummy? They discover that the postman was going to get revenge on the post office the way most postmen in the 90s got revenge on the post office. He was planning to take out the post office for Cadelia. And I what? thought he was one of the nice, creepy-ass, crazy stalkers. What? Willie attacks Breaker, though, while at the How same does the postman time, Parker offers out the one. owner a hand. Is that a yes? No. Literally That's a hand. giving you the finger, asshole. Have I mentioned oh, nice. I this movie yet? Willie is defeated as ah. Rich cuts a deal with the collector. He'll give them the key if he lets them go. But first, he has to get rid of the blood blocking their entry. The blood seal. Uh, uh, so? I'm sorry, you how are the best effects in this movie are stupidly simple? Like a I sponge in the mouth? I Zane just waiting to hear action with a folded up sponge shoved in his mouth. The you know, he probably time. practiced that. And 
actually. Oh, thank God. He had to, but right? Good editing. It's just another fun effect that adds a lot of for life. So he work. didn't actually have. You know this hell on earth business? Big fucking deal. I Wait. So they. I am still waiting for a T-shirt of that. He of course uh, kills off Roach, but the rest of them fight back. Wow, he lied. I'm gonna cover the rear. Get your asses up there. Wow, he literally years, like I've always been confused lied. for that pudgy guy from them Ernest movies. But now I'll what be movies? confused as that nobody from Ghost Dog. Wait, that was me too? Who the hell am I again? He and the owner uses the postman's grenades to sacrifice themselves to save the others. Uh a shrapnel. I feel like that many grenades would probably result in mm, it would it? Oh, whatevs. As nevertheless, they're killing Maybe in the of violence. Six grenades? Hey, down, the shrapnel would be insane. So the collector tries to persuade Danny, but this is done in the background while Geraldine and Breaker talk. And this is a Did shame she because accept I just wonder what he said to win him over. I can tell you how to see Samus naked in Super Metroid. Well, not naked, but pixelated bathing suit. At your age, that's still something. That's still something. Breaker realizes, though, with Geraldine being the last one left, she must be the chosen one to take the key. Seeing how what, Danny what? turned into a demon. That reminds me, Danny turned into a demon. Oh, hey, look. Oh, God. Out of all the demons, it's, Danny's wait, that's not easily CGI. the best looking one, but it's a shame because he's not on screen that long. He attacks Breaker and then is very quickly taken out. Good. Oh my god, he exploded! As Breaker dies, he passes on all the power and information of all the people who have been the protector of the key in the past. What? I think slamming the back of his head against the wall isn't going to wake him up. I've never seen play himself before. Do your research on that one. That joke works on so many levels. I'm very proud of it. Oh, okay. The collector makes his way to Geraldine, but she covers herself in the blood so he can't touch her. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> he manages to wash the blood off her, but she puts the rest in her mouth. Truth be told, what, this does what kind that of drag do? out the climax, as we know exactly what's going to happen. She's what's going to happen? She's it on the collector, killing him off. Yet they keep really? postponing it like we don't know that's going to happen. But fuck it, who cares? It gives Billy an excuse for mugging. You know, no one's ever brought a demon knight over the other side before. Not in one piece, anyway. So he's supposed he's to be a like demon knight? He's supernatural fast talker, but with half the budget. Which I've only really seen the mask. It makes him even more fun because he has to rely on his charm over effects. But it does get a little weird when he suddenly confesses his love for Geraldine. Yeah, I doubt it. Happens. Geraldine, I, I love you. <clears throat> Geraldine, do you think you could ever find it in your heart to possibly me? Hmm. Huh? Let's check Google Maps. No. 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 No, I have no idea where that came from. It so, just yeah, came out of nowhere. Is random and odd, but that's also kind of why I like watching him, because he is so random and odd. So, yeah, if he wants to open his fly to reveal he has human torches splooge, I what? am really weirded out, yeah, but in this movie, I'm okay with it. That's so silly. Like I said, that's she does spit in his face, revealing his true form and blowing him to smithereens. Geraldine is left to find the next protector of the key as she blocks every entryway she goes through. How, how long does that blood last? It's okay. I'll wait for the next. Or is it like one of those things that like next. lasts forever? The film ends with the that like, going you to know, the premiere of his own movie. Water for well, wine, bread that lasts forever. I think my producers are trying to tell me something. Those actually are the producers, by the way. Zemeckis was too busy trying to figure out how to piss people off with contact. Contact. Now that entertainment. Are you actually dead or I I tend to agree with you. Is that was something? Say, I love this film. Demon Knight is not any kind of groundbreaking horror cinema, but it is a lot of fun. Honestly, I would Story watch it just for what's his face? Zane? Is that his name? Zane being and goofy. Even with a lower budget as horror movies at the time went, it turned out some Horror very movies still have like effects. no budget. Now, don't get me wrong, it can drag in a few places, and it's not the traditional Tales from the Crypt story of assholes getting what's coming to them. But I kind of appreciate that too. Like they knew it's a movie, and they don't want to just give people one long episode. They want to step up the game a bit. Over the years, its fans have grown, and you can definitely count me in the mix. It's over uh, the top and ridiculous. It is. It absolutely is. Enough, Why did the mailman have so many guns and grenades? If you haven't already. I thought postal workers make a lot of. Uh, they make a decent amount of money. Is there? Oh, there's definitely going to be a charity shout out. Hold up! Hold up! Well, they're there, motherfuckers. God. 
Hey, Doug Walker here. A uh, chance in life. A really, really cool life. Okay, it's whatever this video makes in the first in day. Life. Will be donated to a chance in life. million kids live in the streets. This charity wants to give, in the founder's words, a chance in life. These desperately Fair. poor kids live with no supervision and recoiled at adults telling I could have do stuff like do. that if this I didn't have patrons and people watching videos afterwards. To youth development, giving the children the responsibility of running their own town. Self-government became the essence of life at these towns, providing the citizens, as the children are called, with the skills, confidence, and creativity to become active participants in their communities and the builders of their own lives. What? These boys and girls towns started in Italy, but shifted from being a community of Italian war orphans to being the home of Italian thousands war. of young refugees and unaccompanied minors. Italian war. These young people escaping civil unrest, poverty, and persecution have come what to What war is Italy involved in from over 20 different countries when the last of war the Italy was involved Italy in have touched the lives of over 30,000 young people in June of 2018 a chance in life inaugurated boys and girls of Bolivia Colombia Guatemala and Peru where together they serve over a thousand children living in marginalized communities pretty this cool is such as long cool as it's idea, like a charity that still exists and is okay as long as there's like no scandals or anything going on your donations. whatever charity makes in the first Click day on the link and see why charity navigator has given this organization its highest rating oh, of four stars why is four stars the highest rating that they get I, the whole point saying that it's four stars is kind of pointless considering trick or treat uh the whole thing like what's the point you say oh it has four stars also was that talk to me I saw Talk to Me in theaters. Uh, really good movie. Really, really good movie, uh, Talk to Me was. I actually saw it in theaters. The theaters were completely packed. Really good movie. It's crazy that it came from Racka Racka, which apparently is a YouTuber. I've heard of them before. I've never seen a single one of their videos, but apparently that movie was directed by YouTubers, and uh, it was a really, really good movie. My girlfriend actually says it's one of the best movies, one of her favorite movies, and she watches a lot of spooky and horror and gore movies and stuff like that. Like That's like her favorite genre. So for her to say that that's one of her favorites, her favorite is Hereditary, because Hereditary is a phenomenal movie, which is why I watched it. But this is Demon Knight, or Tales from the Crypt presents Demon Knight. 1995, two years older than me. That's scary to think about because that's, uh, what, 28 years old now? But let me know what you think of this movie. Let me know what the next one should be. Should it be signs? I'm not really sure. Shout out to the patrons. They get the videos day early. You want the next video day early? Link down below in the description. I'll be streaming today at 5 p.m. playing some Minecraft. Definitely stop by and say hi. I'm always reading chat and always having a great chill time just playing some Minecraft. You got something to do? You want to play some video games? You know, just turn on stream and just, you know, watch me play Minecraft while you do something. Just having background noise. It's always a fun time, but I hope I have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope I made it tiny a little better. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing.